It's Tuesday, April 21st, 2015. This is the first and last video walkthrough. This is the last building a house walkthrough, and it's the first living in house walkthrough. This afternoon, about 2 o'clock, we passed all the paperwork, handed over the checks, signed our signatures 30,000 times, and we are now the proud owners, not just of the house with the three acres, but the adjacent piece of land for another 14 or so acres. So you can now officially call Trish Baroness Misco Hill. Look back at the telephone pole, utility pole. We're supposed to have someone from the cable company show up on Thursday morning, day after tomorrow, 8 a.m. I'll be here. We'll see if they can run a wire through the ground and give us internet. If so, I'll probably be out here most of the day on Friday. We brought a few things with us, including Durin. This is the first time in several months Durin has been allowed inside because after the floor started going in and the paint and stuff, Mike, the builder, didn't want dog fuzz all over the place because he's that kind of person. But now we will be able to go in the front door as I trudge my way through the mud. You can see the numbers in its new location. One of the holdbacks is the outdoor um, painting is going to be finished. The pillars need to be done. Trish has ordered a nice shade of lavender, purplish. Our generator is on its little concrete pad here. And you can see the trench yet to be done is digging the ground and finishing up the work of taking the propane pipe coming out of the wall and hooking it up to the generator. Once that's done, there's a big box down in the utility closet which does all of the work. So this is what you see looking out back at the street. We still have this lovely shovel, steam shovel or two in here. Unfortunately, Mike didn't leave the keys in it and Trish won't tell me how to hotwire one of these babies. So we'll try going in the front door. Durin, this way. In you go. And here's what the inside looks. We'll go up and see what the fans are doing. Durin freaking out because it's a big shiny object. He's not quite willing to do the stairs yet. Lots of light switches. Have to start memorizing what all of them do. This light comes on, the outdoor lights over there. Fans are controlled from the other end. So, into the dining room area. All of the wall jacks and things. We have a now thermostat carefully mounted on the floor. Looking out the front door. Trish says the, shan the table will fit in here with all the other furniture. We'll see what happens next Tuesday when the movers come. Front hall closet. Put coats and things in there. We now get to see what the fan looks like. Turn the light on, turn the fan on. And now our butterfly fan. One of the extravagances we put in because we were able to build the house this year 
is we spent money on the fans and on my very powerful bright lights outdoors. View out the bedroom window. We'll be setting up the bed here, an air mattress for when we come out over the weekend. Looking into the bathroom, all of the final fixtures and things. Our purple light, I'm gonna have to wait until it gets darker to actually see what this looks like and how much light or how little light that thing gives off. Master bathroom over to the vanity that actually has enough room for both Trish and my stuff. Already have a few of the necessary dog toys trying to make Duran feel at home. Didn't work, he's still actually very frantic. This grill over here is for the subwoofer for the built-in sound system. Looking out the backyard, those big round donut things are going to get pulled out in the next couple of days, weeks. Part of the landscape in there to keep anyone from driving a tractor or something heavy over the, the, that part of the septic system. Looking out at our swamp, we now own a big part of it, that section right in there. The last part's owned by the town and the school. The water level is very high because it's been raining. You can see we have our little pond there. That's a nice runoff coming out of the pipe that you see there. You out looking at Trish's porch. Not going to open that at the moment. Trish looking through all the swag we got from our realtor as a housewarming part present. out the kitchen windows. More construction equipment. You sure you won't teach me how to hotwire one of those no, things? A chance. View out uh, and see what the garage is. We have one of the doors open. Come on, back in. This way. Flip our light switch. And go downstairs. Basement where our stuff will be going. You can see here what the utility section looks like. Hot water heater. Water tank for the well. This thing here is for the uh, emergency backup generator. It's supposed to kick on automatically. Our circuit breaker panel. And <clears throat> the rack for the internet wiring. Patch panel up here. We'll see what the people do when they come in with uh, the wire from uh, the electrical system. Some place up there is where the string, there's supposed to be a string of some kind for uh, getting things into the house from the telephone pole for the cable and uh, telephone people. I have no idea what it is. I hope they can figure it out. This is a view down the rest of the garage. All the screens are stacked up on the back wall. Next Thursday evening, this entire place will be filled up with boxes and boxes and boxes of all of the stuff for the kids and my book collection and things. Now we'll see if Duran decides to follow me upstairs or not. stairway. Looking up at the light fixture chandelier thing we picked out to hang there. 
our wall-to-wall -wall carpeting is not wall-to-wall, -wall, it's a runner. And then this part of the house has a rug. The guest bedroom here was supposed to have a rug, but we got a phone call from the flooring people saying, uh, my cousin got the bedrooms mixed up and accidentally put flooring in. Should we leave it in, or do you really want us to rip it out and put carpets in? And he said, no charge for the upgrade, of course, because it's our mistake. And I said, you bet. So look out the window, another view of the swamp. Closet in here. Shelves and things. View over to my office. That's where my desk is going to be, access up to the ceiling. I went up there and took pictures. Speakers on the ceiling for where the sound system's going. View out. Now one of the things you can see now that wasn't in previous ones is the glass door. This was a couple hundred dollars extra. The expectation is that when I'm on a conference call and Trish needs to work, I will be standing, sitting here in this corner where my desk is going to be. Trish is going to be in that corner where she's going to be putting her desk. And so through the glass door, we can look through and see that, yes, the other person is still there. Looking out in Trish's backyard and the closet in which I am not allowed to put anything because it's her closet. She didn't ask for a rack or anything in here. Light up top. And little tiny doors here. Which again, she's saying I'm not allowed to take and put anything in there, but we'll see if I can sneak something in or not. So we'll conclude the video walkthrough with a look out the front door down the driveway. One of the things to do in the next couple of weeks, a couple of days, is to come up with a mailbox to put out there. Thanks for watching.